Hey, welcome back to the Green Workbench. So, I had a previous uh, video about turning an old antique radio into a Bluetooth. And it was very controversial. I got a lot of people who were very angry at me. So, I've done another radio, but I did it a little bit differently. I want to talk about that. So, this radio here, I was in Japan at a flea market. I found it at a flea market. It was dirty and grungy, and it was big cracks in it. So I got a good deal on it, brought it home, and my original plan was to restore it completely, tubes and all. So I needed to do a little bit of research. So I first, I opened it up, started looking through it, pulled out the board that contained all the tubes and electronics and everything. And it was kind of a mishmash. It was really a mess. So I wanted to see if I could find out the make and model so I could find a schematic somewhere. Um, so I took a bu bunch of pictures and it turns out that there is an antique radio museum in Japan because in Japan there's a museum for everything. So I took a bunch of pictures and I sent it to them and they came back and said that it was a, a homemade radio. This was not a manufactured piece. So I was really excited about that. That was really cool. So, um, and that actually explained the electronics because there, you could tell it wasn't done according to a schematic. So I started looking at the pieces and kind of researching the capacitors and stuff. And some of the parts came from maybe the late 30s, um, possibly early 40s. Um, so that was, kind of looked like that was the age of it. And then there's a label on the inside of the back cover, which I'll show you, that also gave me an idea of how old the radio is. So we'll do that now. So here's the inside of the back cover. This cloth is original. Um, it was actually already ripped. And here is this label in Japanese. So I had it translated and it's a shipping label and it uses the Japanese um, calendar of using the emperor. The new emperor is the start of the calendar. But as close as we could tell, I think it, she said it was 1939 when this was shipped. So late 30s is probably when it was built. So I went ahead, sanded everything down, filled in the cracks, restained it, refinished it, polished the brass, um, made it look really nice, and then it came time to do the insides. All right, so like I said, I wanted to restore it, but because it was a homemade, that's way beyond my capacity. So I took everything out, I saved all the parts so that in the future if I get better I can do it. I didn't want to do too complicated a build on the inside so that one day I could um, restore it completely. But for now I use this amplifier from Kinter and I'll put a link down below so that you can find it and it has volume control, input, output, treble, bass. So it's just a small little amplifier. And I decided instead of just simple Bluetooth to, to make this a smart speaker, so you can use whichever brand you want. I'm using an Amazon Echo Dot. Um, again, I'll put a link down below. And the Echo Dot is connected, obviously, to my internet and connected to the amplifier. And then the amplifier connects to this pile speaker. Now this is a marine speaker designed for boats. And the reason I got it is because it's a stereo. So the previous radio I did, I had to end up putting in two speakers to make it stereo. Um, so this one I found one speaker that accepts both signals and will um, produce the sound in stereo. So I'll put a link below for that as well. So I just made a, a wooden cutout, um, cut out the circle for the speaker so that mounts right in there. It, it actually can come out. Um, it's held in by this dowel down here. But this whole thing can just slide out and the, all the pieces that I installed can come out very easily. And that was the idea. So now it's a smart speaker. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.54 a.m. All right, so that works great. Let me close it back up and I'll show you how it works um, when it's closed. All right, so you, you can see the finish here. These knobs aren't connected to anything. They're just for show. Um, 
but the basically you can talk through this grill here this fabric grill and the dot will hear you Alexa what time is it it's 9 56 a.m. so the only drawback to having the echo dot inside this device is you have to have a strong Wi-Fi signal and also if you have the music up really loud you kind of have to lean into the grill to talk um, to give voice commands because it can't hear as well when it's surrounded by this box. So that is my antique Japanese radio turned into a smart speaker. Um, again, I still have the parts. I can restore it at some point in the future, but for now it works as a smart speaker in my home. So I hope you appreciated this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on the Green Workbench. Please subscribe, click the notification button, and check the links below. Thanks for watching.